where the legends come to play. ESPN Classic Canada. Saturday, November 30th, the Tigers invade Lion Territory. It was a day just like any other day in Vancouver. No rain, no frost, no fog. For most people, it was business as usual. Grey Cup business. The moment of truth is at hand. The ceremonial kickoff is made by Canadian Football League President Eric Duggan with Vice President Sam Berger, QC Holding. Breaks may help to decide it. Injuries may help to decide it. But invariably, it's the best team that wins the Grey Cup. The team captains shake hands, and we're all set for the Grey Cup Final 1963. And here's Fred Scambatti. The weather conditions at Empire Stadium are ideal as the Hamilton Ticats kick off. Southern opens the game. Morris receives. Pikula and Kuntz drive in for the eager Eastern champion. The BC offensive unit onto the field as the Twin Mountain Peaks, the famous Lions, are framed in the goalposts. In the huddle, number 22, Joe Cap directs this unit. Number 35 is Nub Beamer at the fullback. The pitch out is to Willie Fleming. Newman is left behind. Zuger misses, but Kuntz and Mosca react to force Willie out of bounds. Second down, linebacker Cars, number 73, moves up on the line. Cap rolls out. Swing pass to Morris. Goldston makes the first contact, and Mosca is in to make the stop. BC coach Dave Skrine on the spotter's phone. Third down, number 27, Neil Beaumont is set to kick with a slight breeze at his back. And it's a good one. Grant is the receiver. Lassiter is down fast to make the tackle. And Hamilton have the ball for the first time. Ticat assistant coach Kelly Moat talks with spotter Joe Restick. First down and number 10, the veteran Bernie Filoni. In his sixth Dominion final call signals as Bethia takes the handoff. Seal fights off the block. There's little gain on the play. Coach Skrine pounds the bench beat. Second down and an early surprise. Filoni in short punt formation, a quick kick. Beaumont fields the ball, but Cars is down alertly to stop any return. The Lions with a first down. Cap drops back. Barrow Submarines combines with Cars to smother the pass attempt. Second down. The Lions out of the huddle. Cap sends Fleming in motion. He rolls with the flow. The pass to Lassiter. Too hot to handle. The kicking unit called upon as the Lions are forced to give up the ball. Beaumont sets to punt. He bobbles the ball. Kuntz blocks the kick. Sepatelli, number 44, pounces on the loose ball. The play was dead at the 12, but the Sudbury Hard Rock tries for a TD anyway. Bobby Kuntz is shaken up. Trainer Jim Simpson brings him round. He heads for the bench unaided. Kuntz displays a damaged right eye, but he seems unconcerned. Number 30, Pace on the move. The fake to Baker. Filoni sees some daylight. He gets to the five-yard line, and Don Visick moves in for the stop. A seven-yard game.
Maloney quickly sets his offensive unit. A handoff to Baker. Brown, Visick, Fieldgate, Beaumont, and Cassick seal the gap. Peter Kemp at the BC bench. Can we hold him again? Third down and a key play early in the game. The handoff to Pace, but the Lions, led by Martin, halt the serious scoring threat of the Ticats. Some happy Lions supporters. That's the stuff. First down for the Lions. There's no score at the end of the opening quarter. Hamilton's Kelly Moat listens to spotter Rustic. On a 37. What, do we roll on him? Or? Well, yeah, get outside and hit those flats wide. All right. Early in the second period, the Lions in possession at their own 37. Number 18, the injured Ron Morris back in the game. The slow motion camera follows Cap back in the pocket. He finds Pat Claridge. Cars misses. He bounces off Goldston. Penley and Koontz bring him down at the 50. Bernie Filoni gets the message. And he prepares for action. The scrimmage zone, the basic one-yard battleground of football. Cap drops back. Cars almost has him, and the pass for Morris goes incomplete as Southern defend. Second down. Morris and Homer are set wide. Cap moves out. Searches for a receiver, and he's still looking. The pass for Morris is no good. Ticat spotters say. Who was in there on that rush? Uh, Bobby came up to and uh, Pete were on a good rush. Beaumont in punt formation. Southern receives. Seal and Dennis force a fumble, but Southern recovers. Southern and Henley in for a rest. A four-man front for the BC club. Filoni rolls out. He connects with Tommy Grant and number 20 Muncie and Schaefer move in for the stop. The veteran Hamilton center Chet Mixa in his seventh Grey Cup game comes up over the ball. Baker has the handoff. He escapes one lion. Rambles along the sidelines for a 20-yard gain and Schaefer shoulders him into touch. Guard Barney Therrien shouts encouragement. The big four champions on the move as Filoni drifts back. He spots Grant. And the completion moves the sticks on a 15-yard gain. By Bailey makes the tackle. Oh, you tie cats. Let's go. The ends are tight. Filoni sets Baker in pace. Back in the pocket. The pass complete to Hal Patterson. Patterson played for Montreal in the first Empire Stadium Grey Cup game in 1955. The second Hamilton scoring opportunity, and the bench is apprehensive. Filoni fakes to Baker. On the option, pitches out to Pace. He eludes Muncie. Gets a block from Curitan. Covered by Seal. He advances to the BC 11-yard line. Bethia is in motion. The give is to Baker. Lineman of the year Tom Brown leads the BC defenders. The gain is a grudging three yard. Did they make it? Yes, they did, signals the referee. Poloni motions pace to the left side. Bethia almost upsets the play. The handoff to Baker, he drives to the three-yard line. Southern, Kuntz, and Cars, all interested spectators. Bethia, then Baker, and Pace in motion. And Filoni follows. The pass for Bethia. Touchdown! Cars.
Stars is happy, the convert was good, and Hamilton Ticats lead 7 to nothing. Southern to kick off. Morris has it at the 10. To the 20, gets by Kraus. Sepatelli and Pecula ground the former Argo. Cap fakes to Beamer, then Fleming back to pass. Complete to Claridge, who's stopped by Henley and Canavino. The sticks move as the seven-point deficit spurs the West Coast Club. Cap bootlegs. Joe's pass complete to Homer, and Goldston bodies him out of bounds. Joe Cap barks the signal. The handoff to Beamer. He knights his way between Barrow and Sapatelli. Koontz makes the stop, but the Lions have the first down. The Windsor speedster, Tommy Grant. The Ticats have been playing the corner linebackers in close. Newman almost has Cap. Fleming takes the pitch out. Gets away from Koontz and Henley. Sapatelli nabs the elusive Willie, and Mosca completes the stop. Uh-oh. Fleming appears injured. The fans show concern for this all-star player from Iowa University. Willie led the Western Conference in 1963 with a 9.7-yard rushing average while gaining a total of 1,234 yards. Cap surveys the scene. Hand off to Beamer. A fumble, but the Lions recover to keep the football. First down in Hamilton territory. Cap is on the run. Gossage can't get to him. Barrow trips him up. Goldston crashes in. The Ticats call for rough play. Another 15 yards for the Lions. The words from the BC spotter. Okay, the ball's the 25. Is Willie capable of going back? Fleming's return to the ball game still doubtful. Cap drifts back. Strong pressure from Sepatelli. The pass for Homer is incomplete. On second down, Cap sends Beamer over left tackle. Barrow and company restrict the advance to three yards. BC assistant coach champion and coach Strine. Western Conference Rookie of the Year, Pete Kemp, attempts a field goal. The 29-yard kick. It's good. And the first Grey Cup score by a BC team is recorded, although the Lions trail 7-3. The Hamilton offensive unit back to work. This time, Garney Henley is part of the backfield. Poloni goes to the air lanes. A long, long pass. The speedy Henley has it on the 25. Schaefer recovers for the tackle. The Ticats in scoring position once again. The poised Poloni spots Patterson in the clear. Fieldgate hangs on long enough for his mates to prevent the touchdown. But not for long as Joe Cap is anxious. First and goal to go. Art Baker adds six points to the Eastern total. The convert is successful. The Hamilton Ticats 14, the BC Lions 3. The second half of the Grey Cup Classic. Bad news for the BC club. Fleming is out for the game, but the Lions appear full of run for the third quarter. On the opposite side of the field, the Ticats huddle with the coaching staff. Kemp sets to kick off. And it's a good one. Bathia chases the ball into the end zone. Gets out to the five. Greg Findlay is first to make contact. Then Lassiter and two other defenders halt the advance. First down, Hamilton. Bathia takes the handoff. Gets blocking from Curitan, then Pace. The fleet first-year import romps for 20 yards before Beaumont collars him. Sepatelli leads the Hamilton cheering section. 
And Filoni wastes little time as he rolls out. Gets away from Fouts. A pinpoint pass for Bethia. And Muncie moves up for the grab. Troubled times for Coach Scrine as the Ticats execute a brilliant tactical move. Filoni is back. Patterson, who has been running short yardage patterns, goes deep. He beats Schaefer, who makes a desperate lunge. And Prince Hal sprints into the end zone. A 71-yard play that puts Patterson's name in the Grey Cup record book. The convert was good. Hamilton 21 and BC 3. Lassiter takes Southern's kickoff. Gets running room out to the 25, the 30. Kuntz, Denoble, and Friends smothering. Injuries have forced BC into positional changes. Burton now wears number 28. Jane's number 77 at end. Joe Cap fakes neatly. Tries to spot a receiver. Jane's on the receiving end of a 42-yard pass play. Too late, but Goldston makes the tackle. And this is how the Lions look from the Hamilton bench. Cap gets good protection. He throws long for Janes again, but linebacker Joe Canavino breaks up the play. Oh darn, we almost made it. Third down, Cap under the center, pitch back to Morris. The kick taken by Southern. Uncertain footing, and Lonnie Dennis team up to contain him. There's 12-year end Pete Newman and freshman Joe Canavino getting relief. Filoni still directs the Hamilton attack. Hand off to Pace, a late cut from the New York Giants, and he bulls his way for seven yards. Visick brings him down. Mac Burton and other witnesses. Filoni gives to Baker. Therrien slips a block. It's a meager one-yard game. Coach Scrine and Joe Cap plot some new strategy. Zuger back in kick formation. Gets the ball away. Schaefer receives. He's cut down by Steve Hamill. The third quarter is over. Hamilton 21, BC 3. Can the Lions get back in the 63 Grey Cup game with just 15 minutes remaining? The Western Conference champions go into a shotgun spread formation. Cap is back. Pass for James. Complete as Canavino grabs a leg and Henley stops the play, a 17-yard gain. And Bernie Filoni is impressed. The wounded Lions are back on the ground. Beamer takes the direct snap, gets effective blocking, finds a hole over the right side, high steps for 11 yards. Goldston upends him. The first down as Cap sticks to the shotgun. Gets a block from Beamer. Finds Claridge 16 yards away for a completion. And Zuger moves in to get his hands on the big end. Now Cap sets his offense in T formation again. Beamer gets the call, cracks over the left side for five yards. Canavino, Zuger, and Goldston are needed to stop him. Jim Pace on the spotter's phone. The Lions go back into the spread formation again. Cap escapes from Newman, but Sepatelli moves smartly and forces a sideline exit for the BC quarterback. Time is running out for Coach Scrine and his Lions. Working from the tee again. Cap is back and gets set. His pass for Burton is low and incomplete. 
The Lions have to surrender the ball and a pass interference penalty. That's first down Hamilton. They'll try to protect the 18 point margin. Bernie Filoni takes off on a brilliant run. He fakes Muncie. Out to the 20, the 30, the 37 yard line before Schaefer can bring him down. A 32 yard rush from scrimmage. The longest run of the day. Joe Cap at the BC bench. With a good lead, Hamilton stay on the ground to run out the clock. Filoni stays in the game. The handoff to Bethia. He cuts outside. By Bailey, a BC original makes the tackle. Second down. Filoni hands off to Baker. A flag on the play. Hamilton called for offside. That means work for the defensive squad. Third down and Zuger sets to punt. Schaefer receives is dropped in his tracks by the hard tackling Hamil. The last chance for the caged Lions who have been unable to hit for a major score. Joe Kapp, the 1963 All-Canadian pivot, back to pass. Gets sufficient time. He finds Burton. And Burton dances for a 21-yard gain before Zuger halts the play. Angelo Mosca. Kapp back in the spread. Flair pass to Beamer. Canavino, then Koontz, hold the game to six yards. Giant tackle Mike Kasich is in for a rest. Can Cap keep the drive alive for a score? Kasich gets by Beamer. Cap refuses to be caught. Gets away from trouble. Tries for Greg Findlay. A fine catch as Goldston grounds the young Canadian in. A 31-yard pass and run play. The sticks move as BC keep fighting right up to the final minute. Back to the tee. Cap calls signals. Directs traffic. Finley, the receiver, on a sparkling play. Is there time for a last lion roar? Not many seconds left. Into the shotgun for the final blast. Cap is back. He looks in the end zone. Burton grabs Cap's pass for the closing score of the 63 Grey Cup game at Empire Stadium in Vancouver. The final score, Hamilton 21, BC 10. The hard-fought duel on the field ends with a handshake between two great coaches, the champion, Ralph Sazio, and the coach of the year, Dave Skrine. And so, in 1963, carried in the strong throwing arms of all-star quarterback Bernie Filoni, the historic Grey Cup returns to the city of Hamilton. Hamilton.